attempted auto theft, or did you actually steal the car? You know, you got to do one of the two. You know, you got to get better at it. Your court date is going to be in a couple of weeks. Uh, your bond is 2,010%. Uh, We're going to have to give you back your property. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Look, I think you're a good kid. I really do. You know, but you're going to wind up in a cell. You got to quit doing this shit. You know, you, you're going to be in a cell. You're not going to have any dreams. You're not going to have any aspirations. Do you have any aspirations? I do. I want you to concede. I really do. But you're going to end up in prison. Do you understand prison? Yes, sir. Jesus. Look, if you got involved in something and you got your butt in a ringer, I can talk. Again, you can just talk to me all you want to, and I can listen. I want you to do good, okay? Too many kids your age get cooked up with something and they can't get out of it. I don't want to see that happen to you. But remember, you got a court date coming up in a few weeks. Now go on, get your stuff, and get out of here. Yes, sir. December 18th! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, you know, I've been waiting for you for a while now. You know, why is that? Why do you think I'm here? Come on, man, I just got out. And whose fault was it that you were in there in the first place? Fine, what are you getting us into, man? We're gonna rob a little comic book shop because someone can't seem to do anything right on their own. Look, man. I know I messed that last one up. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm not the greatest at jacking cars. I'm sorry, man. Mm-hmm. So, when are we doing this? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah, is that a problem? No. No, I can do can it. Can you even do it? Yeah, man, you just need some time to lose the heat. Tim, if you're too scared to rob a measly little comic book store, then be my guest and decline. But remember, that's all on you. You wonder what? I was under the impression that you wanted out of this. Nice, quick and clean, as they say. Am I wrong? Okay. All night.
Welcome, comic lovers. Just to let you know, we're closing in 15 minutes. I'm happy to help you find anything you need, but after that, I'm gonna have to throw you. You know what to do, Carl. You know what to do, okay, let's go. Hey, 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 just let's just go. relax. Take the money, put it in the bag, let's go. Come on, come on, I'm, go. I'm complying, please. Come on! Give me, just give me a second to open the register, okay? Bag, let's go. Let me get it open. Empty it! Please. No problem. Get it in there. All right, all right, there. Come on, come on. Just take it, okay? Please. That's all the money. I don't want any more trouble. Just go. Now, this is not all the money. Now, I don't think this is all. He emptied the register, man. We need to get out of here. He emptied the register. There's a sink in the basement. Come on. I want the money. All of it. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta get that safe. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this cash and we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get this money and get out of here quick. Dude, that's a lot of money. Dude, I don't care how many bullets these bags. Come on, give it back. What you get me into? Give me the bag. Let's go. Come on, have one back. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. That's a lot of money. Quit talking about how much money it is and start filling it up. Let's go. You know you didn't have to kill him. Jesus, that's what you're worried about? God, no wonder why you want out. You can't stomach anything. He could have shot me. He could have shot you. Is that something you want? No, but... No? Yeah, good. You know, he pulled the gun out, too. He knew it was at stake. Look, he was probably just some store clerk who lived there and got stuck working the late shift. He had no need to get shot. He didn't know us. He didn't see our faces. How did you even know that there was a safe in there? Because unlike you, I'm prepared. You think I'd rob just some rinky-dink comic book shop? No. <laughs> These guys are the biggest in the business. I'll tell you what, they got more money than they even know what to do with. So I think we could use some of that. Christ, man, what did you get us into? You need to stop your complaining. With how much debt you're in, you're going to be robbing convenience stores and jacking cars for the rest of your life. All we have to do is drop the money off at Desmond's and split it up. He'll take care of the cars, sponge our names, and we're good. Now you need to stop being so ungrateful. We're coming out on the house now. Now let me do all the talking, and we'll be out here quick. Okay, let's get this over with. All right, Tim, listen to me. Hey, listen to me. I need you to grab the small bag out of the back and follow me up to the house. What, what are we doing? We're improvising. Hi. 
hello, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, me and my little brother are here. Uh, we're, we're from a few towns over, and uh, well, we were coming to see our, our, our cousin. He, he lives next door. Uh, we were in contact with him a few weeks ago about a birthday party that we we're going to have for him, and, and we suddenly lost contact. We, uh, we were wondering if you knew what, what happened. There's caution tape all over. Um, yeah, no, that that that's that's terrible to hear. I, I don't I don't really know. I know there's something about an ongoing investigation and he's involved with it, but like, I only know what I've heard from the news. The police aren't really talking about it right now. I'm really sorry. Oh, uh, is there any way I can come and use your telephone? Our, our phones died and, well, we just want to get a hold of our family. They, they live a few towns over as well and we just, our car's trashed. <laughs> well, we just want to see if they can come pick us up. Uh, yeah. Did, did you say that, like the next town over? Yeah, like a town or two over. Oh, well, I, I mean, don't even worry about it. You can you can come in and call. Um, I also have a spare bedroom if you guys just want to like stay here tonight. I, I can't even stay up late enough to wait for them to come get you. So really, yeah, uh, ma'am, ma you, you don't know how much that means to me. It, really, it's very nice of you. Yeah, I mean, of course, no problem. <laughs> come on in. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. I'm I'm gonna go grab my phone. It's just oh, okay. <sighs> This should do the trick. Oh, thank you so much, Miss. Oh, oh, Maeve. My name's oh. Maeve. Call me Maeve. Oh, well, thank you very much, Maeve. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I uh, that's my my room for you guys, but um, my brother's there, so I'll have to move him. You guys can come on back if you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, see. Okay. Yeah, he's he's fine. He's just unresponsive. Uh, you know? Is this is this normal? Yeah, no, it's 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 fine. Oh, okay, okay. You oh, guys okay. make yourselves at home, why don't you? Come on in, just okay. make, make yourselves at home. Of course. Yeah. Um. Of course. <laughs> stay cozy. Well, thank you so much once again. Uh, if you guys need anything, I'm just gonna be right out there with my brother. So. Thank you very much. Yeah, Once again, yeah, thank you. Yeah, of course. It means a lot. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Have a nice night. Yeah, you too. You guys have a good night. Good night. Dude, what are we going to do? Just calm down and be quiet. We're going to leave the money here for the night. Just because Desmond's gone doesn't mean they're not going to come back for it. That's your best plan. What does it look like? Say so we just stay here for the night and try and get some rest. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. All the money's locked away in the trunk and we have this bag here for emergencies. Figure the rest out tomorrow. Whatever. Excited for movie night? <laughs> Me too. I, I brought your favorite snacks. Well, you're welcome. Oh, I can't believe you haven't seen this movie. It's so good. There's this big plot twist at the end. It's crazy. We interrupt the scheduled programming for some breaking news. The police have identified the assailants involved in the armed robbery and murder at the comic book store earlier this evening. Information supplied via subject in custody will remain anonymous. We have learned that Timothy Sampson and Benjamin Hendrickson are those allegedly responsible for these acts. These men are still at large. They are armed and dangerous. To anybody in the surrounding area, please be careful. Thank you and good night. Six eight four Safety Boulevard, and the men from the news who robbed the comic book store are in my house. I 
I, I didn't know that when I let them in, but they're here now, and I would really you have to come get them. Yes, thank you. I, I have a brother. He's he's in a wheelchair. He's handicapped, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get him out of here now. So if you could please just come get them, that would be great. I, I can answer any questions you need if you just I can stop by later. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Follow him. I'm out the front. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna shoot. You doing all right back there, Petey? Don't worry, we're just going to Big Sister Connie's house tonight. Nothing to worry about. Yay! Who's this guy? I don't know. I think he's dead. Pull over. Damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. Come on, I said pull over. Where is he? Just pull over. Where is he? I said pull over. Then what happened to my brother? He's fine, pull over. I don't want to do this, pull over. Come on, just please pull over. Can you get out of the car? 